prophet um, and scholar, says that um, hope, um, uh, memory produces hope the way amnesia produces despair. And so we're in a despairing time in our culture because we forget <laughs> you know, ourselves, we forget how connected we are, we forget God. You know, we're trained in this culture to no longer see the presence of God. We're trained to forget. But if we remember, right, and the word remember means to bring into the body. If we remember our connection, if we remember what it's like to be young, if we remember what's possible, um, there's hope there. And there's a recognition that despair, which many people are feeling in our culture, I mean, name it, because of climate change, because of uh, increased awareness of the injustices that are, that are baked into this culture, despair is a way of closing the heart. It's, it's a way of staying safe. It's a way of saying, I don't want to try anymore. You know, I, I just want to protect myself. And, and so when we're in that protective space, you know, we need comfort and we need memory to remember there's other ways of being. And we need the truth, which is no one knows what the future is bringing. The future is uncertain, is the real truth. And so we can cultivate hope in young people and in our churches and in our lives by remembering what we have, by remembering ourselves, and then facing that uncertainty with open hearts and working towards um, the kingdom.